Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my seventh update for my Pan That palette. Back at the end of 2019, I decided to start working on my first ever Pan That palette project, and I decided I was going to work on this all mattes neutral eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. This is the Shade and Light Eye Palette. If you want to hear my full thoughts about why I chose this palette and why I wanted to do this project in the first place anyways, I highly recommend that you go and check out the introduction to this project as well as check out the playlist so that you can see my progress throughout the last, like I think it's been almost like 10 months that I've been working on this palette or nine months, something along those lines. So definitely go and check out the playlist so you can see all of the progress that I've made. I am so excited to share today's update with you. So I just wanna share with you on the screen what my palette was looking like last update, what it was looking like when I sat down to film my update video. As you can see, there was some pretty decent pan in both the shades Latinus and Ludwin. And so I did end up repressing those after filming that video. I did share a picture of what the palette looked like just after repressing, but I wanna share with you on the screen what that looked like so you can see the actual like significant difference in how the palette is looking like now. And I'm so excited to share with you what my palette is looking like now. So here she is, look at that. Okay, so there are some pretty notable changes that I have to share with you. Like I said, I did repress Ludwin and I had repressed Latinus, this one here, but I hope you can tell. I did end up actually pretty much using up the entire pan of eyeshadow, which I'm so happy about. I was hoping by now I would see more empty pans in this palette, but progress is just slower going than I was originally anticipating. But it took me 79 uses altogether in this project to finish up Latinus. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if I tracked every single use. I, there may be uses that I did end up skipping just because this is a palette I use every single day and sometimes I just forget to make a note of it. Yeah, just under 80 uses tracked in this project and it's finally basically used up. I mean, I could probably get one more use out of it, but we're gonna call it done for this update, okay? And then the next notable thing that I am so excited about as well is this shadow right here. This one is called Shamel and this is a like mid-tone brown shade and I did hit just the teeniest little pan in it this update. So. I just hit pan in it actually yesterday, and it was the 31st time that I had tracked in this project pan. It took me 31 uses to get pan in this dang thing, which is just crazy to me because Succubus, which I had hit pan on in my last update, it took me only 19 uses to use that, but I suppose I was just using more product when I reached for it, or maybe it's just pressed a little bit differently. So let's get into some of the like nitty gritty number details. You guys know that I have been trying to use one gram of product in between every update of this project and lately I just have not been attaining that goal because I just haven't been wearing as much makeup as I was when I first started utilizing this palette. I was going to school full time and working and going out and all that kind of stuff and now my lifestyle has definitely changed with the current situation so I'm just not using this palette near as much as I was initially. However, I have managed to use up 0.61 grams of product this past month. So it doesn't matter that that's not my one gram goal because I'm still reaching for this and using this very, very frequently and I'm happy with that number for sure. And I'm really happy to say actually I looked back from my introduction of this project where my palette was then and where it is now. And I've actually gone down 6.62 grams of product through this entire project pan. There is an advertised weight of 16.8 grams of product in here. So I am just over like a third of the way through this palette in terms of weight. That doesn't mean that that's how much product is actually in this palette. And I had used this palette before putting into this project, but I do think it's interesting to look at those specific numbers and to see that now that we're halfway through the year, I am making good progress. So by no means do I think I'll be able to finish up this entire palette by the end of this year, but it's really nice to just look at these numbers and to see that I am making really great progress on it. And visually I can really start to see that progress happening as well. Today I'm wearing so much of this palette and I do think that moving forward I do need to use it more in the ways that I have done today in order to 
really make that amount of progress that I've been hoping for. We'll see if I end up reaching for it as much as I did today, but I just don't want to go over how versatile this palette really is. So I'm wearing this shade right here, this like banana yellow kind of shade right here to brighten up underneath my eyes and to clean up my bronzer and contour, which I contoured with this shade right here today. And I never contour, so it, it doesn't really look great. This side is like pretty, <laughs> pretty choppy. I don't think I've ever known how to contour, but if I did at some point, I have totally forgotten how to contour because it is not, it's not cute, but it doesn't really matter. And then I used this shade right here as a blush as well as in my eye look today. It's in my crease, like it's a full on transition blown out shadow on both my lid and my lower lash line. And it is my blush that I'm wearing. I am wearing a highlight kind of on top of it, but it is the only blush I'm wearing today. And it's so beautiful. I love, I love this color actually. And let's hop back to this shade right here too. I am wearing this one in my brows today as well. I do have a little bit of brow gel just to set everything into place, but this is primarily what is in my brows today. And then I finished up this shade today and I'm wearing this shadow right here all over my lid. And then I have the black one as a liner today as well. So I really did reach for this palette, like really tried to get almost a full face look out of this palette today and I'm really happy that I was able to integrate so many shades into my look today. So I actually want to share with you guys what shades I want to kind of try to focus on for this upcoming month and hopefully I can see some decent progress happening on them by the next update. I really want to focus in on this dark brown shade right here. It is what I'm wearing pretty much all over my entire eye today. It's a beautiful like chocolatey dark brown shade and it is something that I think I can wear pretty frequently. I feel like I can integrate it into lots of looks, especially because right now my Panthos eyeshadows is like all warm toned looks or shadows rather. So I feel like this can just really pair perfectly with all the shadows that I'm focusing on. So I'd like to hit pan on this. I don't know if I can do it by my next update because I really haven't used this shade that much through this project yet. I also really want to focus in on Shax, which is the matte black shade here as well. I have reached for it a handful of times throughout this year, and I just, if I keep using it at the rate that I'm going, I'm probably never gonna hit pan on it, but I really want to actually try to commit myself to hitting pan on it. So I am going to try to reach for it a lot this month as more of just like a liner kind of shade because I'm never really like generous when I use black shadows. I tend to use them very, very sparingly and very selectively. I am wearing it today as like a smudgy liner and that's probably how I'll just use it for the rest of this project pan. But I do want to just hit a tiny little speck of pan in there just just for that satisfaction, you know? And then lastly, I really do want to focus in on Latus. I can't really, why am I not showing you this very well? This is Latus right here. I want to just continue to expand the pan on this one. I'd love to see the pan grow a lot by my next update. So primarily I think what I'll do is use this to set my concealer that I use as my eyeshadow primer, but I'll also use it to brighten up under my eyes as well and to like clean up my bronzer and um, maybe just to highlight in certain areas of the face as well if I'm going for a more glam look. So I'd love to see the pan on that shade also expand. I honestly thought that by this point in the project, I would be kind of bored and over using this palette, especially because it is neutrals. And you guys know, I love my colorful eyeshadow. Like I love, I love color, but I'm not feeling burnt out by it. And I'm so happy that I did choose to use this palette as my first ever pan that palette because I do reach for it every day, no matter what look I'm doing, there is a way to integrate these shadows and to elevate my look using these basics. So I'm happy, I'm feeling really inspired. Now that I've set myself a couple more goals, I think I'm gonna use it a little bit more and maybe maybe I'll get closer to that one gram of use goal again by my next update, but we shall see. I'm honestly, feeling really inspired and still really happy to be working on this palette. If you guys are panning a palette, let me know what palette you are working on and how your progress is going. But otherwise, that is absolutely everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I hope that you are staying safe, both mentally and physically right now and always, honestly. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. And yes, I still have a freaking swatch finger right now. <laughs> Bye guys.